the other day I was trying to cut something on the CNC and I noticed that the uh, Y axis was kind of jerking a little bit as it traveled along. I was trying to figure out what might be wrong with it. So I went to check the uh, ball screws to see if they were running parallel with each other. So I went to take the motor off of this, uh, this end here to check to see if the nuts were tightened the same on both of them. And when I went to take this motor off, um, when it when it finally came off, it was a little tight. When it finally came off, uh, the coupling had been broken. It's a flexible aluminum coupling with like a spiral around it, and it had been in two pieces. So I don't know how long it had been like that, and that might have been causing that jerking uh, with that coupling being loose, just just held uh, with the tension of it being against each other. This is the broken coupling that was on there. You can see how it was uh, got split. So like I said, I don't know how long it had been like that. So I said, well, I might as well replace both of them because the other one might be getting ready to break too. So I went ahead and ordered two, two more. And uh, when I went to take the second one off, I had a heck of a time getting it off. In fact, uh, once I took the bracket with the motor loose, uh, the motor hung up too. It was just kind of hanging down. So the only, only way I could get it off was to just keep stretching it, bend it back and forth until it finally uh, separated the spiral on the flexible coupling and broke it off. And then this piece was left on the uh, on the ball screw end, and I couldn't get it off either. So. I had to make a little small puller. This is the little puller I made out of a little piece of half inch uh, steel flat bar I had with a 1032 screw. Had to make that to, to pull this off of the shaft. So I've got my new couplings in. Uh, they just came in. So I'm going to try to put them back on there and uh, hopefully get back in business. I'm going to buff the end of this shaft a little bit with some uh, 400 grit sandpaper, it feels just a little bit rough. This is an 8 millimeter shaft, and the shaft on the motors is a quarter inch, so I had to get a 6.35 millimeter to 8 millimeter, which the 6.35 is the same as a quarter inch. Loosen up these set screws. I think the shaft has a little bit of a flat spot right up here where my finger is. So I'll line one of the set screws up with that. Put the coupling on here first and then try to put the uh, motor on because you got to put these blocks in at the same time. I'm also going to put a little bit of never seize on this shaft so hopefully if I have this problem again it'll be a little easier to get off. I already turned the shaft to the correct 
orientation for the set screw to line up with the flat on it. Make sure these set screws are backed out far enough. This is the tricky part. everything lined up and get it started. Alright, got one screw in there to hold it. Let me try to tighten these set screws up. That one's too much of an angle. I don't know if I can get to it. Turn that ball screw a little bit. Okay. Now, get the other bracket started. done now we'll do the other one well let's test it out see how it does so far so good Well, I think the new coupling is going to be okay. So hopefully, hopefully we won't have no trouble for a while. Thanks for watching.